Council Member Pine. Uh, in opposition, Chair. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about our kupuna. Sadly, majority of the homeless are our kupuna, according to recent reports. And so it is our kapuna that we are criminalizing. Whose life is more important? Whose livelihood is more important? That's really what we're deciding with these sit lie bills. As Quintra Tololo had mentioned, she'd worked all her life and just hit hard times and found herself homeless. And she said, instead of criminalizing the homeless, why don't we focus on the solution? According to a lot of the testimony of supporters for this measure, they talked about things that were happening to them that they wanted to stop. Vandalism, theft, the smell, they said, the smell. Imagine working with that smell of people urinating and defecating. Assault. But all of these things are already illegal. And if these things are already happening, and they're already illegal, how is making it illegal to sit and lie on a sidewalk going to help the problem? It's been mentioned that we have taken care of the homeless. We've given $47 million to the problem and to specifically expand safe haven. But as we all know as leaders, Putting something in the budget is much easier than implementing it. There is an article just by Mr. Pereira, who's over here today, talking about Safe Haven opening their new uh, um, center where people can take showers and use the bathroom. But for legal issues, they will not be able to open it until next year. So we passed this now, and how's all the great things that we supposedly did to help the homeless going to be helpful during this time. Mary from my own district from Makaha said, these bills are focused on helping tourism and business industry, but does not respect the Hawaiian culture that we're all promoting to make money from. So as I would agree with some proponents and opponents, we really need to focus on the solution of the problem. The solution is to assist our police of force to ensure when crimes are committed against people or organizations or businesses that those people pay the price. Because that's the real problem here that I'm hearing. And we need to come up with better housing solutions and find a way to implement all these programs that we've talked about that we've budgeted a lot faster. Maybe the mayor has to declare a state of emergency as Governor Lingle did, and we just need to open up these facilities as soon as possible. That is the true, true solution. But the saddest thing I think that we've done with these bills is what we've made the homeless feel like. As Ms. Toei Lolo said, and I forgive me for, I'm Filipino, I can't do some more names. Uh, she said, it just made me feel sad about myself. And as Tracy Martin said about being homeless, when you're homeless, you feel like dirt. So how does this help them? We will see the effects. We will be getting calls from the single mothers with the young children, from our own constituents who now will be living in the areas that are not covered by these sit lie bills. And they're going to be yelling at us, saying, you brought their problem to us. So now we have to suffer. We don't, can't afford security. I'm a single mother. I'm almost going to be homeless myself. So it is my hope that while this may feel to some of us that this will solve a problem temporarily, that we continue to fight for, and what I'm very proud of that we are doing is that we are talking about homelessness and solving it. And I hope we never lose that for as long as we lead. Thank you, Chair. Okay, any further discussion, members? Any further discussion? If not, this requires a roll call. Madam Clerk, for the roll. Council Member Anderson? Aye. Council Member Chang? Aye. Council Member Elefanti? No. Councilmember Fukunaga? Aye. Councilmember Kobayashi? Aye. 
Councilmember Manahan? Aye. Councilmember Manor? Aye. Councilmember Pine? No. Councilmember Martin? Yes. Mr. Chair, we have seven ayes and two noes. Okay, thank you, Madam Clerk. Committee Report 310 has been adopted, and Bill 62, CD1, has passed second reading.